We're at a point now where it is time to do the niche and the biggest thing is here I want to make sure that my tiles line up so I have a piece here line up here etc and then I have a Schluter one piece metal grate um, which is the same floral pattern that the drain is going to be and uh, we want this in such a way that we can get the today's big shampoo bottles underneath and have a smaller shelf on top now that does not align with these tiles so I'm going to follow the same pattern though. I'm going to put a full tile, full tile on the back, full tile on the sides here. We'll do a tile piece here, tile piece here, and then we'll have um, two pieces in the middle here to support the shelf. Now there, we are using the profile, the Schluter Rondek profile. It's a stainless steel profile, so I believe it'll hide the outer edge of that crack, and uh, we should be good to go. I am going to be using less mud behind these tile pieces here probably be using um, an no, 8 by 8 uh, mud tile, T tile mudder, tile trowel, tile trowel, um, especially on the side here, very, very small tiles. We're not working with the 12 by 24 that we are here anymore, so it should be good. profiles now stainless steel profile so then we know our tile thickness that we need there beautiful morning out here isn't it so i have found i think anyway the best way to cut these stainless steel profiles is with an abrasive blade and i have it on the miter saw i'm tipping them up on edge to give me a angle a 45 degree angle because it's going to be a profile that's on the inside like this Twenty-seven, fifteen over sixteen. All right. Now I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not to take this covering off of the profile before doing grout, but my theory is that if I don't take it off now, the grout is going to cover more portions of it and make it more difficult to remove. So I'm going to take it off and if it's a terrible idea, I'll let you guys know in the voiceover. That looks so good. We are ready to do some floor. As you can see, we are doing this beautiful river rock. It's gonna look so good in here with the linear drain. And we're ready. I got some mud mixed up. We are gonna be using a smaller trowel stack. So it'll be like a four and a half by four and a half mil. Uh, I think that's the Dietra trowel that we might use in here because we don't need a ton of mud. This is perfectly flat in here. We have a 12 by 12 pattern. We're not gonna do any back buttering on there. And um, I think that the four and a half by four and a half should be good for this, so we're not actually going to use that much mud.
We are all ready for some grout. I'm using a slightly more expensive grout, not the most expensive, and I already got it mixed up here. You want grout to be kind of dry so it doesn't slide out of the hole. Uh, this is unsanded grout because we are going with 16 inch grout lines and uh, you can do up to half inch with this as well. Key to grout is lots of buckets. So I've got three buckets here. Basically, once you smear grout on, you can get one or two, several. You can get maybe four, five, six swipes with the sponge, clean it out, do it again with that sponge, and then you need to rotate a bucket out. Using this little grout scraper to get in there, make sure any of the tabs from the leveler are out of there and that the if there is any mortar that's sticking out of the grout line that we get it out of there so we get some grout to adhere. This doesn't seem to damage the tile if, you, if you're going like this, but if you slam into the next tile up, it can do some damage. So keep yourself under control. grout in, kind of let it sit for 10 minutes maybe, 7 to 10 minutes, and then you can wipe it off with your sponge. We're cleaning off your grout. Lots of bugs, like I said. Go ahead and get you a sponge, and you have lots of sides to work with on here. It, it's not so noticeable on this white tile with white grout, but if you're doing a thicker grout joint, it takes a lot to get that grout off. And if you keep rubbing that same side back over the tile, it doesn't do you any good. So go ahead and flip this guy around, and then you can do your next corner. And you need to kind of roll off so that as you get thin set or grout on here, you're rolling it away from the tile and keeping it clean. That'll be the quickest way to get all of these grout lines cleaned out. Then you can, if you're careful, roll up over here, got a side to work with over here, and so on and so forth. Again, white tile, white grout, shiny. It cleans up pretty doggone well. When we do the floor, that's when we're really going to need to show you that technique. But on here, not so bad, looking sharp. It's a great example of where the rotation of the sponge is important. So there's a lot of grout in here. Um, this is a heavy grout based shower bed here with the river rock. So you want to lay, lay down your sponge, mostly down I guess, just like this. And as you move, you rotate up so that you only have one dirty edge. Then you can flip and do the same thing over here. And, and that's all you want to do. If you put this back over again, you're just smearing grout all over the place. So there you go, and that's it. It looks pretty fantastic. I just have that corner shelf set in place. This is what we are doing right here. This is a solid stainless steel, absolutely gorgeous corner shelf that matches the pattern of the linear drain right there. And I'm gonna lay it up in there, use a wax marker to lay out these tabs, and then use a diamond four and a half inch angle grinder to just notch in the four tabs. It went very smoothly over there, and uh, then we will caulk it into place. See how I got the line offset to the left and offset to the right over here? Just gotta remember, you got a, uh, you got a gap there that you're gonna fill, so your, your groove actually needs to be closer to the corner on both accounts. And we're laying it up on top of the tile, right inside that grout line. I don't know if you'll be able to see here, but the tabs are not actually the full thickness of the shelf, which is at least 3 sixteenths of an inch, I would say.
Well, that is a wrap on this beautiful walk-in shower in our new master bathroom. We got everything. We got the glass doors, we got a bench, we got shelves on both sides, double heads, and we have a niche for all the tall shampoo bottles of today's day and age. I hope you guys enjoyed this build, this tiling install, better than YouTube did, because YouTube doesn't care to promote our videos anymore within their platform. So if you guys could do a solid, leave a comment down below, just say hi, hit that thumbs up button because it would really help in getting this video in front of more eyes and make it a little more encouraging to continue on with the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did building it. I'm DIY Tyler and you guys have a good one.